Tonight, a family, their friends, an entire community of supporters vowing to fight to make a dangerous intersection safe once and for all. 16-year-old Zoe Ardway was seriously injured at the intersection in Forsyth County yesterday morning when another vehicle T-boned her car. Look at that. Mm. And the sheriff's office tells us it is just the latest violent crash there. Zoe and everybody else wants this to be the last time this incident occurs in this area. Here's John Sherry. She's just been through hours of surgery for multiple broken bones, but 16-year-old Zoe Ordway is thinking of others and thankful. I just wanted to thank everyone for the thoughts and prayers. Zoe and her parents are determined to make this dangerous intersection a mile from their home safe once and for all. Trisha Ordway. And hopefully this will change that intersection and bring some awareness because we don't want this to happen to anybody else. Monday morning, Zoe was driving to cross country practice at West Forsyth High School. She pulled up to the intersection, Bentley Road at Post Road. But because of the terrain and the configuration of the lanes, she could not see the oncoming pickup truck. And that driver could not see her. And he broadsided her. Sheriff's deputies gave Zoe the ticket for failure to yield. But the sheriff's office tells me that this intersection has been a danger to drivers who get into collisions here for years. Most of those drivers also charged with failure to yield, even though their lines of sight are obscured. We need a light there. Zoe's father, Scott Ordway, just happened to drive up to Zoe's wreck moments later as he was driving to work. I don't know how many more of the residents on Bentley Road have got to be casualties of that intersection before the commissioners in the county will do something to protect not only my daughter, put friends and family on the road. It's a hard thing to watch your daughter be cut out of a car. The county says it's a state road and Georgia DOT has refused to install traffic lights despite increasing traffic. We are working to get information from DOT about the status of plans to improve post road, make it safer, possibly with traffic lights. They can do something. I don't care if it's a state road or not. Zoe Ordway, her family, their neighbors, determined now to fight the county, the state, for each other to make this intersection safe. Yeah, well